Hey guys, it's Kaylin again from the Pocket Team. So today we'll be going through how to make an LDR sensor using an Arduino and the Pocket Meter to essentially detect how much light you're getting in any given area. So it could be where your workspace is, your maker lab, whether it be in your basement or your dining table. You can detect how much sunlight you're getting throughout the day. So to make this kit, you'll need your pocket meter and your Arduino starter kit, which I'll link below for you to check out if you really need one. If you already have one, that's definitely great too. Let's get started. So we'll start by going through everything you need. So first you'll have your breadboard, your Arduino, obviously your pocket meter to log the data, then this is a 1K ohm resistor. This is the LDR sensor, so it's a light dependent resistor. And then you have your two longer cables and four shorter cables, and obviously the cable for your power supply. So usually I connect this to an adapter and just plug it into the wall, but you can also plug it in to a laptop, whatever you prefer. And that's it. So next we'll start by pinning everything to the breadboard. So we'll pin the resistors first. So to make it easier for you, I'll put the schematic on the screen so you can see it whilst I'm doing it. So it doesn't seem so confusing, but so first I'll have it this way. I'll just pin this one here. And then in series next to it, you put your LDR connecting to it. Okay, so with this, the light will essentially hit the LDR here and it will make this resistance change. So that's how essentially we're going to log the data. Next, you'll have your cables going from your output. So you have one here. And your second one in the middle of the series. So where they pretty much intersect, you'll be putting it in there. Oh. So that goes in there. Next, you have two smaller cables. That essentially one goes from where you put this one output here. So you put it here. And then into this negative port here. And then the other cable, so this cable here, you'll be able to put at the, so parallel in front of this last series here. So on right here, and then into so the positive series here positive section there and then lastly you have to connect your Arduino so essentially the Arduino is only being used as a power source source at this point because the pocket meter does all the logging so you're going to connect it into the analog section so first we'll connect your ground wire which you can connect to here in the not uh, negative part, so just here, just pin that in. And then last, so you'll have your voltage. So this is a 5K, put it in the 5K of the analog. You can see it on the side here, it'll say 5K right there. And then have this going in to the positive section here. So I know it looks kind of confusing, but you should be able to see the schematic on the screen. And that should be it for connecting all the wires in. Okay, so you have all your wires connected. So what I've done, I've added the power supplies. I just have it connected to the wall with its cord to the adapter. So that's connected there. And then I have all the wires in. So next to log, I'll connect our pocket meter. So here's the pocket meter I have ready. You have your negative and positive. So your negative will go to this one. 
at the end of the resistors and your positive goes to the output that's in between the resistors. So that's there. So we'll start logging. I've already started the log. But you can see it here, it's already logging. Had it logging earlier just to test it out for you guys. So have it logging here. To imitate what the sun would do, I have a ring light to show you what would happen. So right now it's pretty dark in the room. Can't really tell, there's no sunlight. I have the windows closed. And then I'll turn on the ring light. So obviously it's pretty bright in here now. And then pretty far away, I'll get closer to the LDR and then further away. Should be able to see on the log when it got brighter and when it got darker. So have it on for a bit. And then we'll turn off the ring light altogether. So again, it's pretty dark in here. I'll retrieve the log. So yeah, you can see here, this is what I had earlier before I started. It was off and then it got brighter. It got extremely bright when I got the ring light close to it and then went further away and then when I turned it off. So you can see here that it really does work. You can see how bright it was in the room that you're working in. Um, and honestly, sunlight and the light in general makes you pretty happy. So that's why we've made this for you. So that's it guys. That's one of our other Arduino projects that we wanted to share with you guys. There'll be many more to come in the future. So stay tuned for that by following us on Instagram, uh, following us and liking us on Facebook and subscribing to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you soon. Bye guys. Thank you.